Well, speaking of dangerous, there's big news this week about climate change. In a recent study, <laughs> who said that? <laughs> Who's there? It's me. <gasps> it's my bonnet. Yeah. Oh, hey, bonnet. Hey, I put you on before bed last night, but when I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. That's because I'm a mischievous little rascal. <laughs> oh, Bonnet, you're supposed to stay on my head. Why should I? No one likes bonnets anymore. In fact, some people have trouble with folks wearing bonnets out in public. <gasps> oh, Bonnet. Yep, yeah, I think they're ashamed of us because we're bad. Hey, whoa, Bonnet. You're not bad. And yes, there have been a lot of people who say black women should stop wearing bonnets in public. And now, sometimes places won't allow you in if you're wearing one. But don't you worry about that. Did you know that it used to be illegal in a lot of places for black people to leave their house without their hair covered up? Whoa. I feel like you're making that up. Yeah, I know, I wish I was. But they were mad about us not covering up our hair. And now they're mad that we are covering it up. So we can't win. Why would people do such a thing? Well, my theory is, hundreds of years ago, they had to dehumanize black people in order to feel okay about enslaving us. And a quick way to do that is to think of us as dirty and bad. And a lot of us never want to be looked at that way, so we try extra hard to make sure we and every black person around us looks perfect. But the way we dress isn't the problem. Judging black people based on your idea of how they should look is called respectability politics, and that is the problem. Mm. But you don't hurt, Bonnet. <laughs> yes. Bonnet, you don't hurt. You actually, you help. I really help? Yeah. Whether it's making sure my ends don't break or keeping my sloppy bedtime hairstyle a secret. I'll never tell. You come in handy. I do? Of course you do. I love you, Bonnet. Sometimes I have a tough time with my hair, but he's always there for me. It's my Bonnet. It's her Bonnet. Oh, that's right. Whenever I fall asleep, I know my style is gonna keep with me and my Bonnet. And her bonnet. <laughs> Some people say they don't like the way I wear it in the store. And yeah, that used to make me feel so sad, but it doesn't anymore. Cause if a C in my bonnet makes you sick, you can eat a big fat <laughs> Cause I love my bonnet. She loves her bonnet. That's right, I do. If my bonnet were a baseball cap, you wouldn't have shit to say. You just hate it on my bonnet. On your bonnet. You know, black women ain't protected out there. Now we can't even protect our hair. Come on, man, it's just a bonnet. I'm just a bonnet. That's right, you are. So. The next time you see a black woman wearing a bonnet all on her own, I want you to reach inside, swallow your pride, and leave her the f alone. You should count yourself lucky. You've got to see her come down off her throne, just her and her bonnet. Her and her bonnet. It's just me and my bonnet. Me and my, my bonnet. bonnet. Oh. oh, Bonnet, I love you. I love you, Amber. Okay, so Bonnet, the next time anyone gives you any guff, you, oh, oh no, he's gone. She wears her hair in four sloppy braids at bedtime. God damn it, Bonnet!